What's up, everybody? And welcome to another edition of High Mythology. The show where we get higher than Deadwood Dick getting yanked up the whole fight calamity chain. And uh, tell you guys silly stories uh, from mythology and folklore. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to be a lot of dick jokes. Yeah, sometimes today, you just guys. need a friend to yank you up. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Let, let's uh, uh, prepare yourself. Mm-hmm. I'm sure you've expected it uh, from the title. Um, because there's no way Dick isn't in the title. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dick's in everything. Hey. Hey. Ho, ho. Hashtag Dick's out till. <laughs> Dick's, yeah. Till affinity. Dick's out till the 1230 train. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then I put it away because I'm a gentleman. Oh, he's not a gentleman. I'm not a gentleman. Passion propeller away. Whoa. Oh, hey. That's a big dick joke. Uh, hey, where's hey. our... Because <laughs> yeah. oh, you can't helicopter the small ones. Nope. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. So today, tonight, this evening, this afternoon, whatever it is for you, we're uh, we're getting into Deadwood Dick. Good Wild West uh, Wild West folklore for you. Um, mm-hmm. A little penny, penny dreadful action. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, t- tell us about it, Kim. Don't, don't go ahead and tell us. <laughs> Thank you. So, well, today the Calamity Jane was about one quarter fact and about three quarters fiction. Closely connected to her in legend was Deadwood Dick, a character <laughs> who existed solely in the Penny Dreadfuls, written by Ed Wheeler, a Brooklyn city slicker. City slickers. <laughs> <laughs> Real or not, thousands of his readers steadfast uh, believed that Deadwood Dick was a live, real live Western hero. But does it matter? <laughs> Don't worry, Deadwood Dick will save me. You know he won't. You have smallpox. <laughs> <clears throat> so Deadwood Dick. Story one. Story <laughs> number one. <laughs> Calamity Jane, Wild Bill Hickok, and Buffalo Bill gave pleasant employment to dozens of pen pushers grinding out the never-ending stream of dime novels in which the three famous frontier characters <laughs> lent their names unwittingly and unwillingly. To the most improbable yearns ever spun in Western literature. Yeah. A New York brownstone dweller by the name of Ed Wheeler, a so-called penny a-liner, intended to horn in, but it was a, in great need of a chief character. <laughs> yeah. These I, characters didn't stand on their own. They didn't stand on their own. The real people that didn't stand on their own. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thanks. You got so many, so many different ones, <laughs> <laughs> like there's, a, there's so many actual real world <laughs> options to choose from, right? and he's like, "I can do better." <laughs> <laughs> Watch me take yeah. these. Yeah, Billy the Kid killed twenty one men before he turned twenty one himself. I can do better. <laughs> <laughs> I got yeah. a dick. <laughs> he was a real guy. Well, I've got a dead wood dick. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Chlamydia's a bitch. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, after searching long and diligently, but in vain, he decided to let his imagination run amok by simply inventing his own hero. The man who never was. Deadwood Dick. Deadwood Dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Wheeler cranked out a flood of dime novels featuring this myth- mythological hero, using the real Wild West characters such as Calamity Jane for supporting casts. His readers were convinced that Deadwood Dick was a living person of flesh and blood, and soon the man who never was took his place among such folk heroes, such as Hitchcock and the General Custard. <laughs> uh, in 1926, when American America Amer- America America <laughs> American celebrated its 150th birthday, Deadwood, South Dakota, celebrated the Black Hills Days of '76. Glorifying old yellow hair, sitting bull, wild bill, and such alike. The trouble was that they were all dead. <laughs> uh oh. Where's our. Where's our. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I need to write some stories. What's wild bill doing these days? He's dead. Uh, he, he, got, he got shot just in the back. Not really interesting. Kind of sad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, nobody knew what had happened to the great Deadwood Dick. Could he possibly still be alive? A frantic search uncovered the old geezer named Dick Clark, found (laughs) shoveling manure inside a deadwood stable, smelling free drinks, 
<laughs> smelling free drinks, and bundles of green frog skins. The manure shoveler confessed that he indeed was the long lost one and only <laughs> Deadwood Dick. I'm a feces man. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's what I deal in. <laughs> well, his name was Dick, and he was a na- native son, and he was willing to let his hair grow and wear a buckskin jacket and a hog leg in his belt. <laughs> <laughs> call you made it to crutch. That's <laughs> a big old hog leg. <laughs> We're gonna need you to stuff your crotch. The real Deadwood Dick was said to have an enormous penis. Well, yeah, that's how tiny they drew. little balls. <laughs> See now, why did they do that to Namor and fucking Black Panther? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> penile reduction. Reduction. You know, you gotta shrink, why would you, you take that away from its fans? Yeah, keep it PG thirteen. It's not fair. <laughs> I thought it was because it would embarrass the other actresses. Yeah. That like could her. be it. <laughs> there you <laughs> Ubaku doesn't want to fight anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Deadwood Dick alive. The news spread like wildfire. The nice old fellow was the hero of the hour and a willing centerpiece of the big celebration. <laughs> well, anything to he get lied. out of the feces game. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was even brought to Washington to shake hands with President Calvin Coolidge. And in no time, <laughs> he had convinced himself that he was what he claimed to be. Cadging drinks at the old Nuttle and Man Saloon, regaling the patrons with the stories which inevitably, invariably began with. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this the old man? Is this... Well, one time. One time. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh. well, one time when uh when I and uh, Calamity and uh, Buffalo Bills was scouting for General Custards, just just custards in general, really. It was a it was a hot day, and some frozen custard could really wet the tongue. So that's all about Deadwood Dick and like how he began in the beginning. <laughs> uh, I do have his stories coming up, but before you want to listen to those, how about you like, share, and subscribe for me? Yeah, do, do all those Check things. us out. Tell your friends. Yeah. Yeah, we appreciate it. It does. Yeah, <laughs> it does. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> the true stories. <laughs> yeah. I never once had an erection in my life. <laughs> I think he gets uh, quite a a many. He amasses a lot in this. JK, I always have an erection. (laughs) That's even more awkward. (laughs) That's just how the writer drew him (laughs) and how the thing. That's a pretty cool Wild West character, but uh, why does he always have an erection? Well, that's Deadwood Dick. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. He goes into battle fully loaded. Remember, only a hundred every hundred years, a man's penis actually gets about an inch longer. For generations <laughs> to come. So back then, you know, this your average size for a white man was like six, four. four Beware inches. the cowboy with a tiny erection. <laughs> you know what I mean? Deadwood Dick's coming to town. It's already dead, so there's no. It's point. already dead. <laughs> you call him Blue Balls. <laughs> yeah, that was going to be his original name. When the writer sat down and thought it was between Deadwood Dick and My Penis Doesn't Work Jones. I was going to say Blue Balls. <laughs> yeah, Blue Balls McGee. Blue Ball <laughs> Benny. Blue Ball Benny. <laughs> you stick with the bees. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Western character for you, right there. I got you. That's the name of his horse. Uh, I'm Blue Ball Benny. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> and I'm always fucking angry. <laughs> <laughs> I can see why. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Deadwood Dick and the Grizzly. Rawr. Deadwood Dick was in a fix. He was in a fix. Deadwood Dick was in a fix. He had accidentally run into the biggest, meanest, and most ferocious bear that he had ever tried to hug a human being. (laughs) A terrifying beast was enraged to find Dick on what he had considered to be its own private trail. 
It's just jerking off. <laughs> it's it smoky. Upset. It was. It's smoky. It is because Dick didn't put out his campfire. <laughs> <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires. Well, I'm gonna fight you now. <laughs> <laughs> Dick climbed to the top of a stone outcropping surrounded by on two sides by smooth, vertical, towering <laughs> cliffs. And on the other twos, uh, on the two others, by a yawning abyss. Mm. If he had hoped to be rid of his pursuer, he had been, uh, he had to be quickly disappointed. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. Dick's. <laughs> was a situation few men could wish to find themselves in. <laughs> oh, this is a rock hard place I'm stuck in right now. <laughs> <laughs> there he was marooned upon the plateau with uh, with the positive assurance that he must enter battle with this huge grizzly who had followed him with growls and were anything but Grrr. music to Dick's ears. <laughs> I don't like your tune, bucko. I usually play my balls some Beethoven. <laughs> yeah. I'm, more of a, I'm more of a Chopin man. <laughs> <laughs> the bear fixed Dick with marvelant. <laughs> I can't say this when you keep fucking laughing at me. It totally sounded like you said the bear fixed Dick. <laughs> the Whoa, bear hey. fixed Dick with malevolent. Malevolent, malevolent, there we go, malevolent. Malevolent. Eyes in, wow, I'm just having, <clears throat> these fucking old people. Evident comp- compitulation. Comp- <laughs> Capitulation? <laughs> I, I, hang on, I got it. Yeah. There's something wrong with me. I got this, hang on. Hang on. I got, I got this. this. Yeah. The bear gazed longingly at Dick, looking for capitulation. <laughs> I just don't think I'm high enough yet. Hang on. Uh, Give me a couple of hits. Yeah. I think I'm the other way. I'm chuckling like a fucking teenager every time you say Dick. <laughs> I know. It's like fart <laughs> jokes, man. Name, yeah. can, can we call him Fart? <laughs> yeah. Fart McGoo. Yeah. Fart McGoo. It's, it's Deadwood <laughs> Dick and his horse. <laughs> Silent Fart. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, fart, you're wet <laughs> oh, Things are going to be hard from here on out, Dick <laughs> <coughs> The bear fixed Dick with <laughs> vicious eyes And he thought of it as a fine meal He's going to eat some dick. (laughs) I'm Smokey the Bear, and I'm here to gobble up dick. (laughs) There's two things I'm good at. Putting out forest fires and gobbling dick. While Dick faced Bruin. (laughs) Not sure how to handle this agnostic. (laughs) You know, know, I wouldn't have a problem if he was a Catholic man, but the fact that he's agnostic really bothers me. (laughs) I mean, pick a lane. I say agnostic, but I meant to say antagonistic. (laughs) Antagonistic. (laughs) Well, I still think he's agnostic, and I don't like it. (laughs) I miss seeing the T. I'm sorry. Maybe I have, like, dyslexia. I'm sorry. (laughs) <laughs> suddenly gain this new skill where I read every other letter, but not every other. So, so where we're at, just to recap, we've got Smokey the Bear coming out as agnostic and ready to <laughs> gobble up dick. <laughs> and they're on this dinner plate plateau. On oh, a dinner plateau. <laughs> okay. That's where we're at. That's where we're at. Just to, just to recap. <laughs> Dick had his two six guns, but these were puny weapons, sure to fail to penetrate the thick matted <laughs> fur and layers of hide and fat of the mighty beast. You know, Dick doesn't want to go unless he's going to get to penetrate. He's got to be able to penetrate. <laughs> he's got to be able to pen- It's not fun without it. Full penetration of us. I don't do foreplay. <laughs> Dick accordingly drew his Green River knife and edged out into the center of the plateau near the ugly brute. He had no wish to be cowered off the plateau into the bottomless abyss. Bottomless abyss. Oh, it's a tongue twister for me, sorry. Bottomless abyss. 
As he advanced, the grizzly reared up on his hind legs, yeah. towering over the fearless westerner, and came on with a wow re- rever- reverence. Huh? Revenant, like the revenant. Reverberating. Yes. Reverberating. There we Reverberating. go. Reverberating. <laughs> yeah, maybe I got dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you got too high. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I got so stoned, it gave me dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now my husband won't stop laughing at dick jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I pretty much have to say dick every three sentences. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh,. Reverberating growl that would have chilled the blood of anyone but our gallant Deadwood Dick. The man braced himself. He knew he had to face a life and death struggle, and he set his teeth together, determined to sell his life as dearly, determined to sell his life as dearly as possible. Hmm. Out came the monster with his frightful jaws wide open, and Dick feeling its hot, foul <laughs> breath upon his face. <laughs> Thank you. He sprang forward, plunging his knife deep into the bear's breast. But before he could dodge, dead uh, dead Dick received a tremendous blow from one of the grizzly's paws that sent him reeling halfway across the plateau. Instantly drawing one of his Smith and Weston revolvers, Dick fired. <laughs> In quick recession. Pew, pew, pew. There you go. <laughs> Six bullets into the yawning wound. He. Uh, <clears throat> wow. Six bullets into the yawning wound he had opened with his knife. Oh, that's some smoothery right there. His heart was pounding as he was seized by a strange excitement. Close to. <laughs> Elation. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to say arousal. <laughs> Close to erection. Close to erection. The it's bullets like... had staggered the huge brute. The blood was spurting from the wound in a sickening stream. Yet the maddened giant attacked once more with a mighty roar and Brar. seemed to shake the hill to its foundation. Brar. Deadwood Dick drew his other six guns, standing there like a rock. Hard rock. <laughs> yeah. When he enraged the beast, but was three yards off, he fired two shots with unearing precision. <laughs> One bullet in each eye of his ponderous enemy. What a ponderous With bear. a terrific roar, the grizzly rushed on, with blood streaming from its eyes, and totally blinded, rushed on straight over the edge, crashed ah. helplessly down in the canyon below. A voice Only yelled, you can prevent forest fires. <laughs> <laughs> Another voice yelled, Oh, I had a boy there. I couldn't have done it better myself. I was just, I was just uh, over here behind the bushes taking a big shit, coincidentally, on the same plateau. <laughs> and getting ready to, to dispatch the brute. I was going to shoot him with my Winchester. Winchester. Looking up, Dick beheld a face peering down at him from the ledge far above. He can, uh, she continued to say. Uh, well, uh, I guess I reckon you just dispatched him there in time before it got too dark for straight shooting. Because, you know, after after dark, it's, it's uh, a little harder. It's a little harder to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I imagine so. <laughs> Dick says. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> That was a close call. <laughs> but how's a fella supposed to get up or down from here? I'd like to know. I mean, I really don't know how I got up here. The voice said. Oh, well, I'll give you a handy. <laughs> I'll lower, lower one into my Larry and down. Did you just put your massive junk in there? But I'll <laughs> yank you up. <laughs> I'll yank you real good, but it's going to cost you about 250 and then, uh, and then I can get you safely down. This is fucking in mountains, you know. These these mountains over usually here. fifty cents. <laughs> yeah, it's usually only a buck seventy five. You better at least use your good arm and not the one that's all calloused. <laughs> Slinging Slinging his rifle to his back and securing his revolvers. 
He did. He had a rifle this whole time. <laughs> he did. He just didn't use it. He didn't want to use it on the bit. What the fuck is wrong? Dick got my pistols old. won't penetrate him. Uh, I shouldn't use my rifle though. I want to keep it clean. <laughs> Dick got hold of a lasso and went up with the monkey's agility, pulling himself up the ledge where his rescuer welcomed him with a hearty... Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> I, I'm glad you made it up, pilgrim. Dick yelled. <laughs> Calamity Jane! <laughs> You're supposed to make a sentence. Dick ejaculated involuntarily. <laughs> I'm not lying. Look at what that says right there. I said it right? Yes. I said it right. I don't have dyslexia. I'm just... Well, there goes another pair of pants. <laughs> For in the features of this stranger, he recognized a description he had obtained of a young female daredevil. <laughs> she replies by an accompan- accompanied by an amused laugh, she says. Oh, well, <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's quite the mess you've made there. <laughs> At your service, sir. Looks like you won't be needing that handy anymore. <laughs> You stare at me as if I was a critter from some of the world. <laughs> and and you, you got this weird vinegar look on your face like you just smelt some, some hot vinegar. Dick shuddered with embarrassment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, well, will you excuse me? Uh, you see, I, I heard so much about you. And uh, yes, I, uh, I am covered in my own ejaculate and feel a lot of shame right now. Uh, will you pardon me? Jane says. And, uh, oh, oh, what did you hear about me, huh? You, you bet your boots you did. <laughs> but, uh, but by Ned, <laughs> by Ned, partner, you, you did remarkable <laughs> ejaculation with that fucking bear. <laughs> I don't believe that's another the whole nother galoot in the hoop up is uh, could be job at a quicker quicker time or scientific manner or stuff. You know, I'm smart, so I say scientific things. Uh don't don't get an area tear. <laughs> Dick replied, marveling while he spoke at the wild beauty of the girl before him. I pretty much didn't understand a single word you just said. <laughs> well, I was doggone lucky, though. Uh, but uh, I got away with only a, a, a cuff on the side of my head and a pair of pants covered in ejaculate. <laughs> Jane says. Oh, which which did you more good than a which did you more good than a pint of uh, patient medicine? You know. It aroused the fight. It, it got you all aroused. That's probably why you busted in your pants like that. <laughs> it's all the medicine a man wants to brace him up, you know, get them all erect and whatnot. A men need a, a slap and woman a slight, you know, is what I always say. Oh, shall I uh, conduct you down the mountain or can you make it alone? Hey, I still give out handies. Yeah. <laughs> I still expect that 250. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go, Pilgrim. <laughs> Not all in man's saloon where we're headed serves a powerfully good brand of coffin varnish. The end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, come drink some let's get high and let's go huff some coffin varnish and see if we can't get that thing up again. <laughs> I'll make the two fifty worth it. I promise. Oh yeah, I'll make the two fifty worth it. Maybe you'll tip me an extra fifty. Oh, cents. you'll get more hot, nasty breath on it than you got from that bear. That's for sure. You ever had a spit shine? Everybody knows Smokey the Prude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now I really like this story coming up. <laughs> <laughs> for our last story. Oh, last story, yeah. And hopefully, much less ejaculate. No, it's just as much. <laughs> just as much. <coughs> There's actually buckets of it in this one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Dick, how are you going to fit off? Are you throwing buckets of ejaculate? <laughs> well, yes, I am. Well, yes, I, why, yes, I am. It's the Deadwood Dick way. 
That's how everyone knows me. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm how a hero. everyone knows me. I just go around flinging splooge like it's nobody's business. And I'm I'll tell here. you, but uh, it's everybody's business because there's a whole effort that goes into cleanup the next day. <laughs> They have to have people on standby. <laughs> Special people in hazmat suits and spray <laughs> tanks. What is Jesus Christ? Is an STD in everyone? <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, uh, I'm lousy with chlamydia. I see. <laughs> yeah. That's why it just yeah. goes? That's why I talk like this. <laughs> the chlamydia's got in my brain. <laughs> <laughs> So sad. I used to be intelligent. <laughs> so sad. Oh wait, no, it was syphilis. That's the one I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our story: <laughs> <clears throat> Deadwood Dick to the rescue. <laughs> the Sturgis Deadwood stage was creaking along a rutted Black Hills trail, enveloped in a cloud of dust, carrying beside a drummer and an Indian trader a precious burden. Beauteous Polly Anderson, chaperoned by her Aunt Millie. On the way to meet the radiant girl's fiance, Captain the Gallant, Captain Tom Calhoun. 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 Calhoun? Calhoun. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I know that one. <laughs> you know, you know Tom you... Calhoun, oh, yeah. I have no idea who the fuck that is. Of the United States Cavalry, stationed at a fort still a bone rattling 70 miles away. Up on the driver's seat, gruff the old Pat Mione. Mayo Mayote. Pat Mayote. <laughs> Pat Mayonnaise. Here's here. <laughs> uh, cracked his whip, humming a song to himself. Perched beside him sat his, quote, shotgun rider, Slim McIvers. <laughs> dozing and swaying to the coach's rhythm. Inside, the drummer longed for a short, uh, longed for a... Snort from the bottle hidden in the deep pocket of his duster. <laughs> <laughs> While the trader yearned to light uh, a chi root from his ample supply. But both gentlemen refrained, conscious of being in the presence of ladies. The drummer says, <laughs> in order to make a conversation. <laughs> I'm actually a recovering alcoholic. (laughs) (laughs) Hope to God, ma'am, we're not running into Chief Redwolf's band of Sioux miscreants. He was interrupted by a loud blast of rifle shots scattering the stillness of the forest. On the roof, McIvers toppled from his seat, dead with a bullet between his eyes. (laughs) As if dropped from nowhere by the road by an evil spirit, the tall figure of a man stood pointing his 16-shot sixteen shoot Winchester straight at Pat, howling. Um. Uh, <clears throat> Whoa there, stop right there before I blow your <laughs> noggin off. <laughs> Having no time, Pat obeyed. Fear gripped the passengers inside, and the drummer, peering timidly out from between the coach's window curtains, had seen a shirk, a stark figure with a Winchester. He whispered hoarsely. That's you. A road. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A road agent, by Jove, don't move and pray. The menacing figure standing in the road was clad in a long black coat that reached below his knees, black boots with the huge spurs and a black, wide-brimmed Mexican hat, and his face, except for his malignant... Malignant? That's a word. (laughs) Yeah, malignant. Okay, okay. Evil glowing eyes was hidden by a black handkerchief. Close by, half hidden in a large pine tree... Half hidden by a large pine tree, Pat Mayone discerned a huge black stallion uh, champing at the bit. Chomping, champing, champing at the bit. Champing, chomping. Wouldn't it be an O? Not an A. Chomping, champing. Champing at the bit. The blood in Pat's mane. Champing. There we go. Chomping at the bit. (laughs) Champing at the bit. Champing at the bit. The blood in Pat's veins turned to ice. By the robber's outfit, he knew that who they were up against. It was Snake Eyes Sam. Oh, no! The fiendish, pitiless stagecoach robbery. Lately came to the hills from the California Sierras, Sierras, where 
So rumor had it, he had killed more than 40 men, ravishing at knife point any female passenger who took his fancy. Pat muttered under his breath, Err, have pity, Lord, for Snake Eyes, say we'll have none. Snake Eye orders, Get down, pilgrims! <laughs> and Pat- I'm Cobra <laughs> Commander! <laughs> <laughs> and Pat obeyed. One more shot fired point blank at the poor driver was on the ground, weltering in his blood, a death rattle uh, reverberating from his throat. The robber yanked open the door of the coach, and he ordered in a tone that brooked no residence. Everybody out, and be quick about it, if you know what's good for you. Mm. The passengers alighted, trembling and ash-faced, ashen-faced, certain that their lives were forfeit. Snake Eyes tells the two men whose teeth were chattering. Behave yourselves and keep your hands up. Expertly, he relieved them of their wallets, gold watches, and other valuables. Then he turned to the women, snatching the older lady's purse, tearing from her throat the pearl, ne- the pearl necklace, <laughs> <laughs> brutally wrenching from Polly's finger her diamond engagement ring, and said, That'll fetch a good price. He had a fiendish grin, leering at Polly with his malevolent eyes. Malevolent. <laughs> As in the same way a horse trader might appraisingly contemplate a fine specimen of horse flesh. He hissed. <laughs> You're a looker, my gum. How'd you like to get better acquainted with a real ombre? Hombre. Hombre. You're gonna write ombre. Gonna... <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't make fun of me, you motherfucker. Hombre. <laughs> Sorry, I, get high. I gotta get higher. How now. would you like to get a cake acquainted with a real hamburger? <laughs> STDs are for that's everyone. Like, yeah. That's right. You thought I was just going to be overly aggressive, but I want to take the time to get to know you over maybe two, three, four dates before I commit to going any further. <laughs> <laughs> take you out on a date before I sniff your butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> My pen died. Oh. I'm sad. <laughs> Stuck too much. Okay. <clears throat> and with brute force, he grabbed the girl around her slender waist. She cried, Unhand me, foul feeling. With her innocent young face pleading more than any words. Snake Eyed Sam laughed heartlessly at her tender pleas and dragged poor Polly, sobbing with fear and revulsion, to his horse. The girl swooned and fainted as the robber hoisted her ah. seamlessly lifeless form onto his horse and mounted up behind her. Mercifully, Polly was no longer conscious of her plight, and her fate was worse than death for that of the human devil incarnate intended to inflict upon her. Snake Eyed Sam... Her aged aunt pleaded (laughs) with hands uplifted in prayer. Oh, for the love of God and your immortal soul, let her go when she's betrothed and about to be Wednesday. When? (laughs) (laughs) Snake-eyed Sam said, Ah, sorry, ma'am, but the the groom will have to wait a while longer. Hasta la vista, bitch. (laughs) <laughs> and in an instant, he was galloping away with his fair captive. Her aunt cried in desperation. All is me. All is lost. The drummer exclaimed, turning his ear to the distant hills. Hark! I hear foot hoofbeats. <laughs> Suddenly, his face light <laughs> up, and he cried. Fear not, madam, for all is not lost. There is but one man in all the West who rides the great white stallion, such as the one that approaches so swiftly. It's Deadwood Dick to the rescue. (laughs) Tune in next week on Deadwood Dick for the epic conclusion. (laughs) (laughs) The drummer had spoken true. Deadwood Dick it was who presently reined in on his horse beside the stagecoach, stagecoach, contemplating the crimson scene of carnage 
His form was stalwart and cast iron. Iron cast, sorry. <laughs> uh, with strength D... Okay, whatever. With strength in his critical eye and every curve. <laughs> what eye? <laughs> <laughs> his critical eye and every curve and muscle. Yeah. With his foreskin pulled all the way up so he wouldn't get a sunburn on his sensitive head. <laughs> The tip was plain, yet rather attractive. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking about his face. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Just the tip was plain, but rather attractive. <laughs> With its firm mouth shaded by heavy yellow mustache. Oh, he didn't he needs to clean it off. <laughs> Eyes of a dusky brown. (laughs) 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 I can make a dick pic. (laughs) And light, hair light and worn long down over his shoulders. A face it was which a lady might admire and a gentleman may envy. <laughs> I'm sorry. His hair was short and curly around the base. <laughs> His attire was plain, consisting of a buckskin suit, knee boots, and a gray flat slouch hat gray felt slouch hat. Uh, he carried no weapons, but his trusty trifle. <laughs> <laughs> trusty rifle, wow. <laughs> this is my trusty trifle. It's not a weapon. <laughs> I know, right? It's a weird like animated said, bird. <laughs> and he's also got a single cap and ball pistol, so. Wow, all rocking the old school. Around his saddle horn was coiled a lasso of Prodigious length. Pro- Bitch. <laughs> yeah, you're touching buttons. I, I can fucking <laughs> <laughs> oh, that womp was brought to you by the wild cat that just walked across the soundboard. Thank you. Bitch, get back on your notebook. <laughs> get back on your notebook. Uh, Dick says, gazing sadly at the lifeless bodies of Pat Mayote and Slim McIvers. I know for sure this this is for sure snake eyed Sam diabolical diabolical work. <laughs> the ranch who did this must be brought to justice. Aunt Millie sobbed. Oh, for God's sake, <laughs> dear man, justice as you say, but first, above all, my niece must be delivered from the hands of that devil. She's about to be weird. Save her. Save her, dear man. And and all I own in this world will be yours. Save her before. Before. The stalwart horseman answered. That would dig at your service. <laughs> Say no more. Uh, I understand your fears. But all all shall be well. Uh, speak not of above rewards, because, you know, I'm pretty much just going to claim whatever I want when I come back. <laughs> Rescuing a damsel in distress is all the reward I could wish for. But there is no time to lose. I must be off with my buckets of ejaculate. <laughs> And with those words, Deadwood Dick took his leave, urging his steed into a thundering gallop. Through canyons and dense forests, over rushing streams and dizzying heights, went the wild hunt. Dick urged his horse. (laughs) Faster! (laughs) Faster, silent thought! (laughs) Because that's your name. I never mentioned it before. When uh, your silent fought, my first horse was wet fought. (laughs) (laughs) We must and we shall free that young girl whose life and honor are at stake. It's up to you. And me. I guess that's a lot of pressure I was just putting on you. You're a a horse. You're part of it, though. 
But you're part of it. If, if we fail, it's your fault, and I'm probably going to eat you. The proud animal redoubled its stride as if it understood what was at stake. Ahead and unaware that Deadwood Dick, like the avenging angel, was hot on his trail, Snake Eye reined in his horse at a small stream to let him drink. Polly was draped across the animal's back like a freshly slain deer. <clears throat> it's great. It's great. Um, <laughs> it's just, that's just awesome. A deep moan escaped from her lips. Oh. <laughs> The vile caitiff <laughs> muttered under his lips with breasts of a wolfish grin. Coming to my beauty? We're supposed... We're, we're close. <laughs> to an abandoned miner shack I know of. Maybe we'll stop for, for there, there for a bit and get chummy. <laughs> Polly shuddered, pretending not to hear. <laughs> but she silently vowed... I'll hurt myself from the nearest cliff before I let this fiend touch me. <laughs> Something made Snake Eye Sam look back, and on the trail a mile behind him, he spied a flash of brightness. It was the sunbeam playing upon the silver fleece of Deadwood Dick's great white stallion. What do you call it? Silent fart. Silent fart. <laughs> <laughs> with that well, it's shiny just white. overflowing with the ejaculate. It's all the ejaculate spill. By the way. <laughs> it's really just ejaculate. It was, a, yeah, it was a brown horse, but the you know, a dark brown. He, it was a, yeah, it was a dark, dark brown. It is not he, white. He had like four buckets, and he, he didn't balance them properly. He says it helps keep the horse cool. It keeps the horse cool. Uh, it's adding protein, it's adding, loosening yeah. up the follicles. Yeah. It's just it's, like wearing it's a mask. Called gunk armor, and all the cowboys are doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make it a thing. Yeah. The robber instantly recognized it for what it was—a foul curse blast uh, burst from his lips. Ah, Deadwood Dick, hell and damnation! I owe you twenty bucks. <laughs> I'll slit through your throat, winch, before I let him take you from me. He spurred his mount into a dead run. Deadwood Dick too had gotten a <laughs> glimpse of his enemy. He urged his horse, saying, "Fly, fly like the breaking wind." Silent thought. <laughs> Who needed neither whip no, nor spur to do his beloved master's bidding? Speedy, the robber, uh, the robber's black horse, was fast as lightning, but even swifter was breaking wind. Silent fart. Silent fart. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <Yeah. laughs> oh, it moves across <laughs> the room swiftly with no notice. <laughs> Not laboring under a double burden, Snake Eye could hear his thundering hoofbeats coming closer and closer. He cried, Damn ye, Deadwood Dick, I'll salt your... <laughs> I will salt your taint <laughs> for winter meat. <laughs> Interesting. He whipped out his pistol from his holster and turning in <laughs> the saddle to fire at his pursuer and paying no heed to the fair, his fair captive. Wide awake now, Polly, quick as a flash, grabbed the ruffian's arm and sank her teeth into his hand, uh -huh. making him drop his weapon. At the same instant, the loop of Deadwood Dick's lasso tightened around the villain's neck, jerking him off his saddle. <laughs> Momentarily stunned, the robber laid flung to the ground, fighting for breath, his evil-ass eyes bulging from his head. And faster than the eye could follow, Dick threw the rope the rope's other end over the sturdy limb of a nearby tree, <laughs> refastening it to his saddle horn and swiftly guiding silent fart <laughs> a I few yards. Like, it's not often you get jerked off by Dick. <laughs> Dick's being generous today. <laughs> Dick's jerking you off. What? <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, lifting the road agent until he was dangling from the branch, withering uh, in his death th throes. Uh, the bold rescuer told Polly. I'm uh, Deadwood Dick at your service. Uh, don't, don't look now, miss. This villain's getting his last desserts earned a thousand times. He's about to have his death shits. 
<laughs> for his foul misdeeds. Uh, you know, it's not a sight for tender eyes, and also something to think about that I'm deciding this is what he deserves, and I'm not even a cop or anything. I'm just a stranger who lives in the woods and approaches people who are in trouble sometimes, and sometimes they're bathing. Dick could have spared himself <laughs> saying all of this because Polly had fainted again. <laughs> oh, <I declare. laughs> Dick carried her limp form <laughs> to a nearby brook and bathed her face with cold water as he cupped hands, loosening her blouse at the throat and partially exposing her heaving bosom of a snowy purity. Jesus Even wider... <laughs> Even wider than Silent Fart's silver coat. <laughs> Polly... <laughs> Splooge! Polly opened her eyes and beheld him who had saved her from fate too terrible to contemplate. I wasn't motivating your breath. <laughs> Deadwood Dick gazed at her in awe and admiration. Admiration. Never before had he found himself in the presence of such radiant beauty. The girl was a splendid specimen of young womanhood. He could hardly turn his eyes from a face so <laughs> alluring. <laughs> Polly says, <clears throat> You with your life to deliver me from this devil. How can I ever thank you? Dick says, I once ejaculated in my pants while making deep eye contact with Calamity Jane. <laughs> <laughs> To bring you back alive, I mean, to bring you back alive and well to your loved ones is all the things that this man could ever wish for. Besides, I've already stained the inside of my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get the horses and in two hours you shall be snug inside the Indian Queen Hotel and whoop up. A whoop up. <laughs> <laughs> it's not much of a town, miss, but, but, uh, the hotel is uh is pretty disgusting also. Yes. The the food is good, but you you will shit a lot. <laughs> Your aunt is also there too, and she's very loud. And then he thought to himself Oh, thanking thanky thought that I went to all that trouble. To deliver this singular, singular example of bodacious womanhood to another man? Well, what's the fella to do? It's all in a day's work. Behind in the lone forest, Snake, Snake Eye Sam was left suspended. A warning to all the murdering outlaws. <laughs> I'm full of dick jokes, but I will string you up and leave your body in the woods in a second. <laughs> <laughs> he excused himself and went behind a tree. And the next thing you know, you just hear a little bit of groaning from Dick. And then <laughs> off they went to the Indian Queen Hotel and whoop up. Whoop up! <laughs> where she was delivered safely to her Aunt Millie, who was still sobbing. Oh! <laughs> She doesn't stop sobbing. <laughs> Dick goes outside one more time. You hear a little, uh, and then he says his goodbyes at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Away, silent font. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one. Yeah, I hope you had fun. Uh, I had a lot of fun. Any more dick jokes for me? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Uh, As he ejaculated at the sight of... I know, that was the day they, they one-upped me on any joke I could have made right there. I'm trying to come up with something good, and you're like, yeah, now the next line is literally he ejaculated in his pants. Involuntarily. <laughs> uh, yeah. uh oh calamity, Jane. How often does he do it voluntarily, though? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if they had to say that. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I was saying was the girl. The end. girl is totally safe because there's no way he didn't splooge his pants when he was motorboating. Oh, for sure. <laughs> but I'm sure they took that part out. They did. Yeah, it doesn't seem like them. It doesn't. Well, well. that was some <laughs> wild west. Tune in next week for an exciting adventure of Deadwood Dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, what is it going to be? 
Uh, I was trying to think. Deadwood Dick in your mom's house. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, Deadwood. It's chlamydia. Yeah. Oh, no, Deadwood. It's chlamydia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fear not, I have some syphilis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On guard. <laughs> yeah. I have the pox. I have the yeah. <laughs> Oh no, it's that wretched foe that follows me everywhere I go. Crabs. <laughs> <laughs> Crab people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pubic lysis. Pubic lysis. I know, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Yeah. All that good shit. Yeah. Whoop it up. You know. Check out our store. Check out our merch store. Teespring dot com slash high dash mythology dash merch. Boom. Uh, do you yep, find out. us on Twitter at Howley underscore boys H A O L E mm. underscore B O Y S. Perfect. Uh, you can get all of our stuff there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Find polls. Find, find like. some polls. We're gonna put out some polls. Do shit. Do do some polls. Yeah. <laughs> Get all poly for us. I will not dance on the pole though. I will not dance on the pole. <laughs> Dustin might though. I will. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun for him. It's fun for him. <laughs> <laughs> <Just Ooh. saying. laughs> Look at me, Mom. I can swing around in circles. Oh <laughs> uh, wow. yeah. Uh, good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.